Hello everyone, Ron again and in this video we are going to talk about vocoding. So I have Fruity Vocoder loaded. There's another plugin called Vocodex which is actually the newer version of this if you will. But I decided to start with this one because it's simpler. So what vocoding is, is when one signal modulates another signal. So usually it's a voice. So here I've got a sampler. It's got a voice loaded and then the vocoder or there's a synthesizer that's going to play a sound, usually a synthesizer sound. And that sound is going to be modulated by the voice because usually it's a voice or drums. And then that's how you get that type of like robotic speech, you know, it sounds very metallic and synthesizer. And it sounds like a synthesizer is talking. So. That's what we're going to be looking at today. So this is Fruity Vocoder. I'm starting with this one rather than Vocodex because this one is simpler to understand. Like it helped me to understand how to use Vocodex and I'm gonna just go over the basics of what it does real quick. So when you are vocoding, you have a modulator and a carrier. The carrier is the synthesizer because that is like carrying the sound, if you will. Like it carries the sound that you hear. The modulator is, is more obvious when you think about it. It's the voice because the voice is modulating the other one, you know? So that sound is carrying the modulation. And that's one way to think of it, at least, you know? I would be lying if I said I knew why this is called the carrier sound. But anyway, those are the two things to consider. So modulator is the vocal and carrier is the synthesizer. The way this works is that you pan one of them left and pan one of them right. So if you look here, starting from the left, actually, you got frequency because it's harder to control what frequency comes out. So you might have to tune the frequency of the vocoded information so that it is higher or is lower, you know, so it will be in tune with the song or whatever you're doing. If you're doing it just statically, then you might just want it to sound higher. Like in the manual, it talks about increasing the pitch if you want it to sound like a female or decreasing it if you want it to sound like a male. So the minimum in this case is the minimum frequency that the vocoder is gonna play. And the maximum is the maximum frequency. So you can see on the top left, that it tells you that right there. The minimum is like 188 or something, 153 now. And that's pretty low. So like it starts off at 10, which is, I believe it's like 20 to 20,000 Hertz is the range of human hearing. So nobody's gonna hire, they're not gonna hear information that's all the way down there, you know? So you could turn this up. So frequency scale, I forgot what it does, to be honest with you. I remember when I was playing around with this, I didn't really use it or invert. Bandwidth is important. And I will discuss that after we begin. So then you have the environment, you've got the attack time. And as I understand it, this, it's like how fast the full vocoding takes effect. I don't know if that's actually the technical way that you would describe it, but that's really what it sounds like. You know, it'll make more sense when I'm actually doing it. And release is the same thing because in the same way that you have like, okay, that one doesn't have it. So let's go to like sampler here. Go to track mode, instrument track. Sampler because it's easy. And I can give a visual example right here. So right here, right here, you got an envelope. This is ADSR, right? So the attack time, as I said in previous videos, is how fast something gets like to its maximum. So here, it would take this amount of time to reach the maximum volume, right? Where if there's no attack time, it happens instantly in this case. The release is, if you were to 
take out some of these, the release is going to be that tail. And when you increase the release, it sounds more laggy when you vocal like reverb. It even says that in the manual too. You know, so I can delete this. That was like a simple example. Get rid of that. So moving on, right? So the first thing you're going to need is something that's going to be vocoded, in which case I have this voice right here. And it's just one of these, the one that says respect. Respect. You know, because it's funny to me. Respect. <laughs> Anyhow, so we're going to be using that. Drag to here so it's on the playlist twice. And we need to choose a synthesizer. So I'm going to demonstrate how you might go about that. We're going to need another pattern. So that this will really be interesting. This one's going to be mini synth. If I can spell it. All right, so we're going to start with using mini synth because it's simpler. So what you want to do is, whoops, you want to take this. This is the mini synth. This is the voice. So I'll put the voice in the front. Change the color of it to red so it's more obvious. You want to take this. And assign this just to this channel. So you can hold down control and click here. So now this is only going to the vocoding channel. Then you take the synthesizer and do the same thing. So you can open Fruity Vocoder. And it's going to show you that the way it's set right now is that the modulator is on the left. And the carrier is whatever is panned right. And that means in this channel. So, you are going to pan the vocal all the way to the left and pan whatever carrier to the right. And if you make a mistake and it sounds crazy, then you can switch them. See? So, no confusion. Obviously, this right here is the mix level and it's labeled like that. So, going below will make it less than 100%. This one has 125%, which is fascinating. So now let's play it and see what it sounds like. Now, obviously there's no sound. Why is that? You can see that the vocal is playing and that it is actually going through the vocoder. Here's the first thing to understand, right? You have to make the synthesizer play something. So we got to go into mini synth. Choose some note, perhaps, you know, I've been doing this with just one note. You can use chords, but I'll get into that later. There's a lot to actually understand. So I'm going to choose a note. Extend the note for the whole duration of what is playing, because you're not going to hear it anyway, you know, Unless they're both playing at the same time. For example. See? It'll still pass through, but there's no sound. So if I turn this back on. Now it seems like it's too quiet. So, I'm going to turn it up. Let's go to Gain, Fruity Balance. Yeah. And with that being said, that wraps up this video. And I hope that it was helpful to you. If you stuck around to the end, then I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if you like these and share. I don't talk about sharing, but that would be helpful. You know, let other people see it. And with that being said, as usual, have an awesome day. Peace.